Hello Techies. In this session, we will test our knowledge on Power Automate for Cloud. All right. What is the question asked in PL500 exam? If you see on my screen, you are editing a cloud flow in Power Automate Flow Designer. You need to resubmit the most recent trigger. Which five actions you should perform in sequence? Before answering this question, let me show you the actions practically what we are going to do to resubmit the most recent trigger. Let me switch to Power Automate for Cloud. I have navigated to make.powerautomate.com and then I have clicked on My Flows. Under My Flows, I am having Cloud Flows, Desktop Flows shared with me, right? Now, our agenda is that we have to resubmit the most recent trigger which we are going to edit in a Cloud Flow. All right. Inside my cloud flow, I'm having office script is a cloud flow. Let's click on edit. Once you click on edit, there you can see I'm having a manually triggered flow and then I'm having an action. Now we want to edit it, edit the cloud flow. Before that, if you observe, there are few things which we need to observe. This is the version of old designer, right? Now let me click on run script or any action we are going to edit. There, I'm going to change the location based on my requirement. I'm going to select OneDrive for Business. Now, in the world designer, we are having two buttons over here. That is one is save, another one is test. If you click on save, in the upcoming one, you are going to test it. You don't find save and test. But as part of our question, that is not saved as of now. So that I'm going to click on test without saving but at the time of running what it will do it will save and test it there you can see i'm having two options once you click on test what are the two things the action to test the flow is that manually or automatically but we need to resubmit our most recent trigger that is automatically we are not going to do perform manually whenever you are going to select manually what will happen you have to start action to trigger it so that I'm not going to do that. I'm going to select automatically and there you can see you will find another one with recently used trigger. I'm going to select the option and then you can see over here I'm having all the triggers which have been submitted earlier, right? There you can see I have submitted three requests which are very recent one. You can select any one to resubmit it but our question is that we have to resubmit the most recent trigger so that I'm going to select the most recent one. And then you can see over here, I will find the button save and test. Why you will find the button save and test? Because this cloud flow, I have not saved externally so that while you are going to execute after modifying or editing the cloud flow, you will get save and test. All right, let's click on save and test. Now you can see your flow is running. The cloud flow ran successfully. So how it has been run with the most recent one, which we are having the request, that one has been resubmitted. All right. This is how we are going to do in the old designer as part of 2024. Now I will show you in the new designer. Let's click on edit. And then I'm going to switch to new designer by clicking on new designer toggle button over here. Now the cloud flow has opened in the new designer, right? Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to modify the run script again. And then I'm just going to change the location over here to group all company. Now you can see, I cannot test it without saving the cloud flow. First, we have to click on save in the new designer. Now, if you see over here, our cloud flow has been saved. Now your flow is ready to go. We recommend you to test. Then we can go ahead and we can test it by selecting text. Then we are going for the test flow. I'm going to select automatically and then we'll go for the with a recent user trigger. And then I'm going to select the recent trigger which we are going to resubmit. And then I'm going to click on test. Now the cloud flow has executed successfully. Now if we observe in the world design of the cloud flows, Without saving, we can go ahead and we can test it. But at the end of the testing, we can get the option to save and test it. But in the new designer, what will happen? Without saving, we cannot test the cloud flow. 
that is the difference for the old designer and the new designer as part of the cloud flows now let's go back to the question you are editing a cloud flow in the power automate flow designer you need to resubmit the most recent trigger which five actions should you perform in sequence this question was asked previously so that it is in old version that is old power automate flow designer for the old power automate flow designer first action is that we are going to select the test but you may ask why can't we go for select save one test this is the button which we are having save one test as a single button so we are having two options first we have to select save and then select test as the first option but here this is select save one test with a single button so our first option is that select test and then what we are going to do we are going to select which type the type of the flow is it manual or automatically we are going to resubmit the most recent trigger in that case we are going to select automatically not manually so first step is that select test and the second step is that select automatically now the third step is that we have want to recently use the trigger right we have to select that one that is select with a recently used trigger as a fourth step we are going to select the run you want to resubmit right we have seen there are many runs are there so that i want to select the most recent one that one which we want to submit and then finally we are going to select and save the test these are the five actions which we are going to do all right let me expose the answer there you can see in the answer area the first action is that select test second action select automatically third one select with a recently used trigger fourth one select the run you want to resubmit and finally we are going to select save and test button to resubmit the most recent trigger in cloud flows all right i hope you understand how to resubmit the most recent trigger in the cloud flows as part of power automate cloud flows